Scythrex here. Uh, I've been studying Korean for about 10 months and I wanted to share with you five effective methods that have helped me tremendously with my, uh, my journey with learning the language. When I first started learning Korean, I didn't really know where to begin and I had to do a lot of research on effective methods. Uh, I found some worked for me and some didn't. And at some points it felt like I was just kind of stuck in place and I, I needed to find ways to channel my, my energy uh, effectively. Um, that's something I learned with studying. You don't want to study harder, you want to study smarter. And so having an effective method is extremely important. Um, so first I'll show you Anki. Um, it's a space repetition, vocabulary, memorization application. Uh, there are many different applications available. Um, Anki is just the one that I prefer, which is right here. Um, another one would be Memrise, uh, I believe is very popular. I, I personally haven't used it. Um, I like Anki, it seems to be very open source and it works very well for me. Um, so what you're looking at here is the decks I have. Okay, and most of these decks I created. Um, some of these decks though I downloaded. So first, if I can find it. When you download Anki, Anki download, you download it right here, and you can download it straight onto your computer. And then to find a deck, just search in Google Anki Korean decks. And here we are. This first one I highly, highly recommend. Or second one, I'm sorry, Korean Vocabulary by Abita. Um, I've been using this one since the beginning. It's been very helpful. Uh, it seems like a lot of the words and cards um, for that were taken from uh, TalkToMeInKorean.com which is also a very, very good source for learning Korean. <clears throat> so you download your deck and it will appear in here. Um, first thing you'll see is what's called Do and New. Um, do is going to be how many reviews you have to do that day. New are going to be new cards you have never seen before in your deck. Um, and this is all adjustable. So as you can see here, everything's zero. Uh, it's because I've already studied today. I've studied 566 cards in 94 minutes today. Uh, so if you wanted to adjust the new card limit, so the new card limit is how many new cards you see for the first time a day, you just go to the cog wheel here, you go to options, and where it says new cards a day. So for this particular deck, I have five, which I find five to be good for a deck you downloaded. Um, however, if it's a deck you made, like this deck, my deck, uh, I find 15 to be good. And the reason why I think it's okay to see 15 new cards in a day is because it's not the first time you've seen them. You made them. And so it's just kind of a refresher. Um, okay, so next, let's see how we make cards. Uh, the, most, the quickest way I make cards, I kind of have this down pretty fast now because I've been doing it pretty regularly. So this is a, a good uh, website. I use howtostudykorean.com. Um, we'll just jump to unit 59. And it starts off with vocabulary, okay? And so I'll have it minimized here. And then here I will have my Anki deck, my Anki program, and I'll hit add. And I'll add it to the deck I made. So. Here I'm just going to create a deck for examples. We'll say example deck, example deck, okay? And so example deck right here. So I'll hit add my deck. I'll change the deck to example deck. And let's get this first word, ojo myan, ojo myan, maybe, perhaps, okay? So I'll highlight it just like that. Copy and paste, control C, control V, control X, get that out of there. Next, I'm going to grab the audio for the card. So right click, open a new tab. Ocho Mian. Click this little arrow and hit download. Show in folder and drag it onto the top. Ocho Mian. It dragged onto the top. Now, when it plays, when I see this card, it will have audio. Um, next. So we'll go to something a little better here. We'll go to pajamas, okay? Jamo. Control C, Control V again. Control X on pajamas. Put it on the bottom. We'll grab the audio. Jamot. Jamot. 
download it, drag it over. Jamot. Now I'm going to do one more thing with this, okay? So we have Jamot. Let's grab a picture. So I have Google Images open in another tab. I'll look up Jamot. There's a picture of pajamas. I'll right click, copy image, and here, control V. And now I'll have a really well made card, I think. I'll have Jamot on the top with the audio. I'll have the English translation, a picture of pajamas, and um, let's see if you can do it with this card. With this website, you can click and it will um, expand it and show you example sentences. So let's get some example sentences on this card as well. So I'll hit Control, or I'll hit Windows Shift S. Windows Shift S. And I'll drag all these example sentences here. And I'll hit Control V. Now that's a really good card. I have the, the word with audio, with the English translation, with the picture, pajamas, and I will have example sentences. I'll hit Add, and you just keep going. And you do, I do this while I study. So I've already finished this website. Um, like I said, I've been studying about eight months now, and I, I study about six, six hours a day. Um, so I've, I've already completed this website, but the way I did it is as I went to each lesson here, I made cards. And I incorporated reviewing the cards um, into my study routine. So um, I would do about one to two lessons a day. Usually I think one is enough. Uh, depending on your time, that you, you actually read the, uh, the grammar, where they explain the grammar, how it works. And um, as you go along, you make little example sentences, like this whole sentence. You know, if you wanted an example sentence, just copy that, right click, grab the audio, and get the English translation here. And you have an example sentence, okay? And so make the cards as you study. So when, you, when it's time to study, you just go to example deck here. You go to study now. This Ojo Mian. Now, by default, yours will play the audio automatically. Um, I have disabled mine, so I have to manually click it. Ojo Mian. Ojo Mian. It's space bar. Maybe, perhaps. Now, that was easy for me, so I'll hit easy, which I can just hit with the hotkey. One, two, or three. One for again, two for good, three for easy. So I'll hit three, because this is easy for me. Next one, Jamo. Jamot. Jamot. And it's space bar. And there you go. It's got the picture, the English, and all the uh, example sentences. So again, easy. And congratulations, you finished studying for the day. So that is how I use Anki. I, um, it doesn't have to be this website. This is a very open source program. Um, you can do, you can find uh, cards and resources to make uh, your decks with any many different ways um, but I highly 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 recommend you make your own decks um, you know certainly download some um, you know I myself have downloaded decks but I think you're you're doing yourself a disservice if you're not making decks especially words that apply to you and your particular everyday in your particular everyday life um, you want to make cards that that you, you might want to use like for example this deck right here Tarkov um, so I do, I do stream gaming, and uh, one of the games I'm interested in right now is called Tarkov, Escape from Tarkov. And I wanted to know how to say things like, um, there's a sniper, uh, get down. And uh, so I talked to some Korean friends that I play with, I got the words for it, I made cards with it, and I memorized it. That way when I play with them online, um, I can speak with them in Korean with words that you probably aren't going to learn through uh, talktomeinkorean.com like um, chokkyoksu, which is sniper, or surutan, which is grenade, you know, those, those kind of words. Are, so uh, definitely make decks that tailor to your interest. And uh, so that would be my first, my first tip. Second tip I wanted to share with you, and I've already kind of touched base on this in my first tip, was the resources I use. So I use primarily talktomeinkorean.com and howtostudykorean.com. Um, this website in particular, howtostudykorean.com, has been extremely helpful. It starts at the very beginning, in Unit Zero, um, with um, the very basics, how to read Hangul, how to write Hangul, and it goes all the way up to very advanced uh, Korean. And the uh, author of this website is still making, um, still making lessons as we, as we speak, so it's very up to date. So tip number three, um, I use 
a particular section of Talk To Me in Korean. Um, as an intermediate uh, Korean speaker, I find their um, just regular curriculum lessons to be a little too, uh, I guess, newbie for me. Um, I think they use too much English. Uh, however, there's a lot of resources on this website for intermediate and advanced uh, learners. Um, so for me, I particular, I'm particularly interested in their Yagi lessons. Um, Yagi is just basically conversations that they record kind of like in a podcast format. They talk about a variety of different topics in Korean. And when they, they have these podcasts, they release a transcript of the, of the, um, of the podcast so that you can read along. Um, with this transcript script and the audio, you can do three things. You can practice your reading ability, you can practice your speaking ability, and you can practice your listening ability. So when you start off with Iyagi, with Iyagi um, I, I try and read through the whole thing first before listening to any of it, and I find any word I don't know. When I find a word I don't know, I look it up and I make an Anki flashcard out of it. Then I, try, I listen to it. I listen to it while reading along, and then I shadow it. And so I just read it along while I, I, I speak. Um, I, I read it out loud while they, while they speak with the audio, the audio recording from the podcast. Um, and when I have one that I'm, I'm very comfortable with, I actually take the MP3 and I put it on my, my phone or my tablet, and I put it into a special playlist I have uh, with other ones that I've memorized. Um, and I just listen to it on repeat. When I'm in traffic or working out, running, I listen to it on repeat to, to really brush up on my listening ability. Number four, uh, this resource has helped me a lot with Korean, especially with conversation. Um, it's italki.com, italki.com. And there's other websites similar um, that you can use. So basically what this website is, is you pay a teacher for one-on-one -on -one Korean lessons. Um, and they vary in price ranges, so I just looked here uh, for Korean teachers. And I can tell you, I saw a couple teachers I, I, I took just scrolling through and you can see their prices are different and you click on them and you read their packages, what they offer, read about them and um, find one that, that fits you. Um, so what I personally use Italki for is not for the, the actual lessons in Korean. I just pay for them to speak to me um, because I, I've already gotten to an intermediate level just from doing the resources I, I mentioned previously on my own uh, for free, which you can do easily, I think, uh, if, you, if you invest yourself. Um, but you will still have the problem where, you know, all these Korean words are swirling through your brain, but you don't know how to say it naturally. And you don't know the uh, ebb and flow of, of Korean conversation. Um, and it's still something that I struggle with, you know, big time, uh, even after having studied, you know, 10 months. So you can see here, I've completed 97 courses. And all of my courses, I do 90 minutes or 60 minute courses um, with, uh, with teachers and I just do free talking or informal tutoring. Um, so what this is, is they'll, um, you know, for one hour, they'll pick a topic or a news article or, or whatever it may be and we'll talk 100% uh, in Korean. And you just practice speaking and it's, it's very helpful. It's a way to, you know, use the things that you've learned, but actually apply them.